And we have more breaking news tonight. Orange County transit workers temporarily averting a strike that would have ground bus service across the county to a halt. Workers and their union are now returning to the bargaining table after an 11th hour reversal. The late reversal means thousands who rely on the buses for things like work or school may not need to make new travel plans after all, but this has been evolving literally by the minute. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell joins us live in the newsroom with the details as they are subject to change. Amy, you know well that they have quite a bit in the past few minutes. Absolutely, Christian. This is a big development. As you mentioned, tens of thousands of Orange County residents rely on the bus to go to work, school, and almost everywhere. So they could be hit hard by a strike. But tonight we've learned that the governor's office has asked the union and the OCTA to return to the bargaining table to reach an agreement, and both sides have agreed to do so. We started this morning at 9 o'clock with the help of mediation, state mediation. Uh, we let state mediation know what our major concerns were and what our major issues were. Um, they relayed that to OCTA, and about 1.30 this afternoon, OCTA said they weren't willing to move and they weren't willing to address our issues. A strike would impact around 100,000 passengers who ride the bus every day. Teamsters Local 952, which represents about 150 mechanics and service employees, and the Transit Authority are trying to agree on issues including wages and pensions. But the union says the biggest sticking point is the high cost of health care. The Transit Authority says it hopes to agree on a contract much like the one reached with bus drivers earlier this year. We are offering a similar uh, contract for the maintenance employees and we hope to come to a resolution to avoid impacting um, bus service for those who rely on it. OCTA officials saying in a statement, we believe we are offering a generous contract that rewards OCTA's maintenance workers for the great work they do. And that midnight deadline was looming, but once again, we've learned tonight that the governor's office has asked the, both sides in this dispute, the OCTA and the union, to return to the bargaining table. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.